little Irish St. Patrick's Day music for the dessert diva this time. Of course, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Many people celebrating the holiday, wearing their green, preparing green foods, maybe having a green beer. Today we're making chocolate mint and shamrock sugar cookies. Our dessert diva, Danette Randall, joins us live in the studio to I'm show here. us how to make these desserts. Good to see you. Well, thanks, Tom. You're sporting the green today. You know, I wore green. Was that nice? Very cool. With Tom, I mean, you already eat Tom Green. You don't have to wear green. Every day of the year, I got it Every going on. Every day of the year. Yeah. Every day. And apparently, I'm Irish now. Did you know really? that? Really? Yeah. By? I'm Irish. By marriage? I guess, yeah. <laughs> Does that make so, you Irish? So the green uh, green dessert list is probably a little limited. Well, no, not really. Use There's the minty. Just millions of things you can do, but, well, not a lot. So, You've chosen yeah. this one. I've chosen this one because what I've made is wonderful sugar cookies. But not did I make sugar cookies. I made chocolate, chocolate sugar, cookies. sugar cookies. And you green them up with a, with a beautiful so frosting. So not only did I make something special, I made something special and a little bit different. Extra special. Look, I got you green M&M's. I'll eat them right Tom now. Tom Green, green M&M's. It's for Valentine's Day. Don't you, isn't that special? For Valentine's Day, which is coming up I mean, in 11 <laughs> In 11 months. <laughs> see, when I see you, Tom, I just think it's a uh, Valentine's Day. Right. It's, just, it's the first thing that pops to my head. The first thing that pops into my yeah. head, too, when I see me. Really? Yes. Okay. Anyway, so, very simple. Now, okay. what we're going to make here is the mint frosting. So, we're not going to make the But what the I'm going to show you is it's, it's a pretty basic sugar cookie dough. It is on the website. And all you've done to make it chocolate is I didn't melt any chocolate to add with butter. What I just did was use cocoa powder. So, just a quarter cup plus a tablespoon of cocoa powder and voila. We've got the chocolate, You've got sugar, chocolate cookies. sugar cookies. Now, as so, far as the frosting. Now, now I'm, oh, wait, I, I just bring here. the dough. So we, after you make it, you put it in the refrigerator just like you would. Take it out. 375 the oven, and you can see it's such nice and hearty dough. Mm. It's not gonna. It's easy to kind of hearty. Hearty. That's well, a, you want a hearty cookie. You know. No, I know, but it's nice and hearty. Now tell but the truth. You, you already it, had one. But how do you get it into a shamrock shape? Now let me show you, Tom. Really? Funny that you asked. That's a good because question. Because what I have here is a shamrock cookie cutter. Are those hard to now, come by? Now if you don't, they're not hard oh. to come by. You can buy these anywhere. Sort of a shamrock you know what? world. And yes. Yes. <laughs> If you don't have the shamrock, I'm sure you're probably talented enough. You could cut it out with a knife or just use a round, no. just use a round one. But see, Because I went over to, down. yesterday I was at Cookie Cutters R Us. You didn't they, find one? They didn't have, maybe, they're, just, Patrick's Day? maybe they're sold out because of the oh, time of Tom. year. Oh, Tom. Anyway, so all you're going to do, you can see how nice that makes the little shamrock. Bake eight to nine minutes, take it out, simple as that, Ready okay? So that we're done with. Now we're going to make the frosting. Okay. Cup of butter. Okay. Two sticks. Two sticks. One cup butter. Each is a half cup, Tom. Got it. Now, what we have here is three cups powdered sugar. Whoo! You can see. You have big plans for St. Patrick's Day? Yes. You do? Yes. Really? Miller yeah. Lite and a corn dog? <laughs> Not quite that expensive. Oh, okay. But really yeah. good. I thought maybe. Thanks for the green beer this morning, too. You're welcome. Okay. I just like a little something to get you just going. Just a little something to get me going is always good. All right, so you're just going to beat this. You want to make sure that you try and get all the powdered sugar incorporated before you add any of the milk. Well, not only incorporated, it... don't you want to get a lot of the powdered sugar all over the place? Well, it wouldn't be a segment of mine if there wasn't powdered sugar or flour all over. Apply it. What's the dessert diva to do? I don't have a lot of room. I, huh? You know, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Peppermint. A teaspoon Just of peppermint. Teaspoon. If you like it a little bit more, obviously, you can add some. Right. Just a teaspoon. That's really good stuff. That's the Watkins stuff. I know. But you can use any anything you have. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to use one to three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Now, the key with the frosting is you don't want to pour it all in because... No. You never know what the powdered sugar you want to do Easy it just then. ever so. So we're going to do a little bit. Maybe in like six. Now do me a favor. Green. Green food coloring. How much? So, um, just twist off or? Yeah. You're a genius. How You're much really do you want? Genius. Well, why don't you put a few in and we'll see. Put a little bit more milk. So what I've done is about a tablespoon and a half of milk. Okay. Okay, go. Faster, faster. All right, let's see how that... Now, do you want it super, super bright green? Me? Yeah. Because it is St. Patrick's Day, and yeah. you are Tom Green. All right. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty good. Do you want a little more or no? No, I think that's perfect. I think I did it exactly right. I think even that you were perfect. Hey, you've already tasted one. Tell yes. the folks what you thought. No, I better not. Oh, really? No, they were very good. <laughs> it's delicious, Nice. Of okay, now look it. I brought you the little thingy. Okay. Now, all you're going to do is, after the cookies have cooled... You're just going to frost him. Genius. Okay. Now, I personally like the frosting plowed on. So right. what you're going to do is kind of keep big, 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 big. 
We need to frost a lot because Angie wants extra. I'm not making any. She She'll wants complain extra. Because I won't. No, it right. she wants extra. I wanted my. And I said she could have it. Put on counterclockwise. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. She does every All right, time. so you can see, and as you kind of get it all around, sometimes you have to take your knife and go in the but edges a little often. bit to make sure that you can see that it's a shamrock. Right. And actually, Tom Green, yes, can these help you? um cookies are so good, even without the frosting. If somebody you know has an aversion to frosting, right. and you want to make some without. You just just sprinkle a little leave. bit of powdered sugar on it. Look how cute they are. They're girl. shamrocks. They're chocolate mint shamrock sugar cookies. I'm sorry. Is that says St. Patrick's Day like nobody's business. I've never been so darn happy with anything I've ever made. Is that, that's beautiful. Well, that's better than mine. It's probably beautiful. the best one ever. That, we'll save that one for Angie. Well, the recipes for the cookie and the frosting are on the website at kwgn.com slash dessert diva. Yes. And as you can see, we protected this plate of the made ones with uh, with uh, St. Patrick's Day barbed wire. What do you think about that? Uh, it, it, it's been effective so far. Good. Uh, time for weather and traffic. Here's Angie. Thanks, Danette. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. What a downer though, Tom, like some kind of inmate going for a cookie and you get all torn up by the barbed wire over the cookies. Yeah. It's not very festive. <laughs> lunch break forecast, mid-60s at lunchtime with mostly sunny skies, a great day to eat outside, light winds above.